I was believing God for um, the fruit of the womb, myself and my husband. And um, for how long have you been? For five years. For five years. Yes. So we went to different hospitals, and um, the, some of them suggested that I go for surrogacy. And then some it of them was said, so bad, they yes. were suggesting that you couldn't carry for, the baby. Yes, I, you I, go. and mine was so severe that I was asked to go for a surrogacy or IVF. So I came back home, I was down. I mean, I literally cried. But I was crying unto God, and I told God that, okay, so for this reason, just to shame the devil, that I would want a set of children. Hey! And then he gave me an instruction to, to, to take um, Holy Communion for 30 days. On the 30th day was when I went to um, for pregnancy test. And then I found out that I was pregnant. Oh. Two weeks down the line, I went to the scan. Even when I was pregnant, I told my husband that this is three. I'm carrying three babies. Everybody was just laughing. But I knew I was carrying three babies. I went to the hospital for the, the lab for um, scan. And lo and behold, there were three of them. Oh, yeah. Three weeks after the first scan I did, um, I went to the hospital for normal routine checkup, yep. and then I found out that the radiographer said that the, he could not find the heartbeat of the babies. He could not see the babies inside. Maybe it could be a forced pregnancy. So I told the radiographer that that the blessings of God make it rich and I did not serve. There's no way they will tell me congratulations and come back to tell me that ah, I'm sorry oh, and all of that. So I went back home, I went online, and then I downloaded pictures of a um, gestational sack with babies inside. And I was praying every morning with it. Every morning I was joining prayers, I was praayin. I went back So again. as you were joining the NLP prayer, you were putting those pictures there. Yes. You know, sometimes you tell people that they can maybe do this, do this, then they do it for one week, then they give up. Listen, everything works with consistency. Yes. yes. Everything works. Even hospital jobs work with consistency. Yes. Continue, man. So um, I went back to repeat the scan again, and then the radiographer shouted. He was like, uh, he asked me to come back like two weeks, and then I'm back. I said, yes, because I know that, I mean, just check. And when he checked, he just did not see the babies, but he saw their hearts beating. Praise God. And I just want to give God all the glory because all through up my pregnancy, it was not high what risk. Did you, when did you have the baby now? That was like four months ago. You can see them, right? Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. What would you want to say to someone that wants a child and has been praying? God is just so good and kind. Hallelujah. He has done it and I know that he will definitely do yes, it for everyone yes, out there. Yes. He said he would do it for every single person. Yes. Glory to yes. God. 